Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today I'm going to use my Cricut Maker and the knife blade to make a photo puzzle. So this video is sponsored by Cricut, however all projects and opinions are my own. So let's take a look at what we're going to make first. I have a couple completed puzzles here and this is one of those and it's fully put together. I have another one in pieces over here so I won't be able to lift that one up. But this is a great way to turn any picture into a cute puzzle. And let me see if I can remove a piece that you can put together. You can give these to family and friends. The kids will love them, that type of thing. And any picture will work with this. So whether that is a picture like I've used of the kids, or you could do like your own photography and make your own puzzles. Now, this does require the knife blade and the Cricut Maker with the material that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use a 1.5 millimeter chipboard from Cricut. So let's get started first, and let's look at all the materials we're gonna use, and I'm gonna show you how to design these puzzles right in Cricut Design Space, so you can design your own puzzles right away and start making. Supplies you're gonna need are some printable vinyl, You'll need some chipboard. I like this Cricut 1.5 millimeter chipboard for my puzzles. You'll need your knife blade as well as your Cricut maker, strong grip mat, some kind of painter's tape or masking tape, and you may need a craft knife depending on your material and your cuts. So I would have one of those handy just in case. So now let's head to Cricut Design Space and let's look at designing our puzzles. So let's design our puzzles first of all. So this is the puzzle I'm going for and I'm gonna use a different picture for this version. So first of all, you will need to upload your image and upload it as a print then cut image. And then we are going to go to images and we are going to search for puzzle. This will bring up the puzzle options in Cricut Design Space. So I like the ones that are complete puzzles. And if you'll scroll down, they have several. There's a rectangle, there's a heart, um, there's a circle a little further down, I believe. So there are several options. There's the circle. There are several options for you to pick from right in Cricut Design Space. So I am going to pick the heart puzzle and insert that. And then what we're gonna need to do, let's double check a few things. So what we wanna make sure is that our image is not too large for print then cut. Mine is not. So the maximum for print then cut is 6.75 by 9.25 and you would see an error message. Let me make this just a little bit larger and you'll see like a little triangle here with the error message that tells you when it is too large. So the first thing you wanna do is resize your image and make sure it's not too large for print and cut. And then you will want to resize your puzzle to where it works with your image, however small or large that is. And I just sort of get it to where it looks pretty good on my image. So what you can do, so this puzzle comes in as like a double layer. There's a just plain layer and then there is a cut. Let's see, we can ungroup so you can see this a little bit better. So there is a cut with the puzzle pieces itself and then there's a layer that is just a plain heart. So we can get rid of that plain heart layer and we can change this material color to white so we can see a little better. And now we can see what the puzzle is gonna look like because that center is clear. So I just kind of locate the heart on the puzzle, on the picture where I want it to be. So we can resize this puzzle, we can resize the image, we can move this around, just get it to where you like the look. And I like how it looks right there. And so I'm gonna pick both of these and click attach. So now my heart puzzle is attached to my image. And so now if I click, and you do wanna make sure maker is chosen as your machine um, because we do wanna use the knife blade. And I did wanna mention that you need to be on your computer to do this because the knife blade does not work with mobile devices. So now if we click make it, you can see the puzzle the print and cut with the puzzle on top. 
Well, let's click continue so I can just show you one thing and I'm not going to connect my maker right now, but I'm gonna click send to printer. And you can see that the puzzle itself doesn't print out on your image. So you don't have to worry about the puzzle pieces, the lines aren't gonna print on your image. The image is just gonna print and then the lines that you see will cut from that puzzle. They won't actually print on the image itself. And then I do wanna go back, let's show you one more thing. So I did make another one down here with the rectangle version of the puzzle. So you can see that version there. Um, so it is possible with the rectangle version. This is with the heart version. There was a circle version as you saw. So just whichever one you want to use, you can use with your images. Just use the same procedure for all of those. So now let's go ahead and print our image and cut something on our maker. So here's our picture printed on that printable vinyl and then here's a sheet of that chipboard. So what we're gonna do, first of all, you wanna make sure, look in Cricut Design Space and see which way your image is oriented and put it on your chipboard in the same orientation. So we're just gonna peel back the backing sheet and then you wanna line this up in the corner of your chipboard. You wanna get it as straight as you can and then press it down. So that it's adhered to your chipboard completely. So now we can just add this to the strong grip mat. Again, we're gonna line it up in that corner where everything's straight. And we just wanna press this down really well. You can do it with your hands or you can use a brayer. Just go over the top. And then we'll wanna add tape all the way around. So this is just a painter's tape, a masking tape would work fine. And you just wanna grip the very edge of your chipboard piece and press the tape down well onto the mat. Now on this side, what I wanna do is add tape, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too close to this line and I don't want it to be hanging over the edge. So what I usually do is just press it down and then just take a pair of scissors and just sort of run it those at the side, getting rid of any excess that's hanging over the mat right there. And then once I have all four sides taped, it's time to cut. All right, so I have my knife blade installed. I have my star, white star wheels all the way over to the right-hand side. And I picked the chipboard 1.5 millimeter setting in Cricut Design Space. And now I'm ready to feed in my mat. And start cutting this material. The first thing it's gonna do is scan and look for those registration marks all the way around the outside. This tells the machine where to locate the cuts. And now it will begin cutting with the knife blade. Now this is, this material takes 12 passes. It will take quite a while, but I do start checking it around six or seven passes to see if it's cut through. And we'll talk about how to do that. So this is pass eight, and I'm just gonna pause it when the mat is mostly out of the machine. So the blade is up here. I've just paused it. I'm not going to eject the mat or anything. And then what you're gonna wanna do is 
You can use a weeding tool, you can just use your hands and kind of work up around the edge and see if it's cut all the way through. Now this, the way we did these, the heart version at least, it will cut around the heart as well as around the outside of the picture. So that's a good place to start your test. But the straight lines will cut through before the curved lines. So we do wanna check in here in the middle and make sure, and this puzzle piece is lifting up and you do wanna make sure it's cut all the way through and not just peeling back the layers of the chipboard. So I'm just gonna kind of And I can see the mat. So everything looks cut all the way through, even though we're at eight passes out of 12. So what I'm gonna do now is eject the mat. So once I eject the mat, the cut is canceled. So we're just gonna press the eject button. And now let's remove this from the mat and take a look at our puzzle. So you just wanna start by removing all the tape from around the chipboard. And then you'll wanna remove your puzzle from your mat. And that's probably gonna be easiest by flipping that mat over and just sort of working under the puzzle and just letting it drop from the mat. Even if a piece sticks to the mat, we'll just peel that off and then we have a puzzle. So now all you wanna do is sort of carefully work away all these pieces. There could be portions of the chipboard that did not cut completely, and you might even have to finish some of those with a craft knife. If you do, just run your craft knife along the cut line and cut through to that back portion. But you should end up with a puzzle that looks something like this one and then it's ready to give to whoever is on your list that might enjoy a photo puzzle. All right, so now I've showed you how to make these adorable puzzles with your Cricut Maker and the knife blade. Now, the hardest part that you have to do is to pick the picture that you want to turn into a puzzle and then the puzzle shape, because I did hearts in this example, but like I showed you, there's rectangles, there's circles, there's other shapes. So you can just like let your imagination go wild. What kind of puzzle do you wanna make? You can make that personalized with your Cricut Maker. So I hope this helped. I hope you understand a little bit more about making puzzles and of course, cutting chipboard with your Cricut Maker. If you learned something, like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every single week and you don't wanna miss any of those. Thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.